it's it's so sick. I mean, I just I don't know. There's no other way to put it. It's just it's badass. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the THC Samuel Show. I am so hyped for today's episode. First, before we get into it, if you wouldn't mind, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that thumbs up. It helps me grow the channel, trying to grow a community of people who love talking about art, cars, real estate, kind of just, you know, everything that I love and that I'm passionate about. I am hyped for today's episode. I've been wanting to do an episode on this piece of art for a long time. It's probably... I don't know, I would say top three in my entire art collection by far. Um, Cote, it's another piece by Cote Escriva, and uh, it's the Jumbo Creepy Monkey. So I cannot wait to get into it. There are only 30 of these in the world. Uh, I was lucky enough to grab one. Big shout out to the homie Drew at Mile High Gallery for hooking it up. Uh, I got it last year in 2020, and uh, I'm, I'm just hyped. It's a beautiful, sick piece. It's so cool. Cote does incredible work. So we're gonna go through the box, the macro, kind of we'll do a whole overview of the entire piece. I'll give you guys a little bit more info about Cotain when it came out and everything like that. And uh, let's get into it. So before we get into the box and the piece and just like the sickness of what is happening, like it's, it's so cool. So before we get into that, uh, again, if you guys haven't checked out uh, some old episodes or some other episodes on the channel, um, I've done a few episodes on different pieces by Cote Escriva. He is one of my favorite artists, especially like in the non-glass world. Uh, he's probably my favorite non-glass artist. I absolutely love his work. I can't wait to continue to buy more pieces, get prints, and uh, just continue to acquire more of his artwork. Uh, I just, I absolutely love his pieces. So Cote again, um, just to give you guys a little kind of refresher on him, uh, he's a Spanish artist. Uh, he was born in the early 80s, uh, so he's a little bit older, he's about 10 years older than me. And uh, this mono, it's the Jumbo Creepy Monkey, and uh, came out last year in 2020. And again, there are only 30 of these in the world. They're produced by a company that Cote collaborates with to create his sculptures called Thundermates. And uh, they're each numbered, they each have a COA, and uh, they're just sick. I really can't wait to show you guys the pieces. So. Um, I'm looking here just on a little note sheet. Um, it's really listed as contemporary art. Um, it's not in terms of markings that each piece is signed and numbered. Um, the original price was I think three or four thousand. Uh, this gallery has it listed for forty five to five thousand not in stock. They're all sold out. Uh, you might be able to find one on eBay or something like that. Uh, if someone's got one available, but again, they're only 30 in the world. Um, I paid, I think, a little over 5000 for mine. Uh, totally stoked with it. Like, would buy, again, 10 out of 10 times. It's a beautiful piece of artwork. It, uh, it actually uh, stands up on a separate whole table in my bedroom, and it just it looks so sick. I love having different pieces of art of different mediums and different styles just basically all around my house. So that's a little bit more about Cote. I don't want to talk too much before we get into the video, or I guess more into the video. So let's get into the box. It's gigantic. So we're going to take the camera a little bit back and uh, show you guys the box. Let's get into it. So I, uh, I just decided to uh, give you guys a different angle and uh, stand up to show you guys really just how big the box is and all the detail of the box instead of trying to sit at uh, the normal studio table. So this is the box for the Jumbo Creepy Monkey. It is crazy. Warning, this is not a toy. It's got all kinds of info on the bottom. More of Cote's art showcased in various places on the box. Cote's signature. It's gigantic. It's also heavy because inside of this giant box is a custom cutout of foam, and that custom cutout is what holds the monkey. Um, obviously, shipping this and all of that is, uh, you know, pretty intense, and that's uh, a very large piece. So everyone, every box comes with a custom cutout, and uh, I would show you guys that, but I don't really think it's necessary for the video. It's just a custom fit foam uh, for each monkey to make sure that uh, it can travel safely. There we have the Thundermaids logo. You have the title of the piece, and again, Cote signature, and all kinds of sick artwork from Cote all along the box. It is so sick. The whole box is just covered in Cote work. I mean, honestly, if you had space to display the box, the box is a, uh, a separate piece in itself. It is, it's just too cool. So here we go. This is the front of the box. So obviously, if you guys have seen the episode on the uh, little creepy monkey, 
Um, they look the same, but the jumbo is just gigantic. <laughs> it is so cool. So here's a close up of the whole box again. Just so much sick artwork on the whole box by Kote. I love it. And again, like, I don't know. Hopefully you guys love art as much as I do. I think this is like so sick. Like, just so sick. It's like, it's crazy. Okay, this is it. This is the Jumbo Creepy Monkey, the mono edition by Cote Escriba. It's a little over two feet tall, probably about two and a half feet tall. Look at how cool this thing is. It is one of my favorite pieces of art in my entire collection. Like, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It weighs about, I don't even know, it's heavy. It weighs at least 30 or 40 pounds, I would guess. Uh, I don't think it lists a weight online. But I just think the pieces are so much fun. So just like I said in that first video with the little uh, creepy monkey, and we'll pull that out to show the size comparison as well. Um, but just like I said in that first video, I just think his work is just, it's just fun, you know? Like, he just looks like he's about to, like, get down and, like, get to dancing and, like, get to, like, moving and grooving. He's just, like, he's so cool. Like, he's just, like, I don't know, just ready to jam out. And uh, the work is incredible. Let's do some close-ups of everything. The rib cage. The quality by Thundermates, they just absolutely kill it. It's just, like... I don't know, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever seen this piece? Have you ever seen anything like this? To me, this is basically like a museum piece. I'm gonna have this forever. This is gonna be in my collection for the rest of my life. I absolutely love this piece of art. So actually, really quick, I'm gonna turn it around and notice this piece gets the white glove treatment. I try to keep it as dust-free as possible, obviously with a dog and uh, stuff like that. It gets a little bit dusty sometimes, but I keep uh, some keyboard uh, dust, uh, an air dust uh, can, like people use for their keyboards, and uh, I use it on it uh, a couple times a week, you know, once a week when I'm cleaning the house to make sure that uh, it stays all fresh. Uh, but it's, it's so sick. I mean, I just, I don't know, there's no other way to put it. It's just, it's badass. So again, uh, for size reference guys, this is the Jumbo Monkey on my studio table, on my desk table, and it's it's gigantic. I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge piece of art and I absolutely love it. So now I wanna show you guys the bottom because on the bottom is where it shows the number of the piece. And I actually have number 12 out of 30. So there are only 30 of these guys gotta be very careful every single time I move it. There are only 30 of these guys in the whole world. So I am pumped. I'm gonna go put it back in, uh, in my normal spot and uh, we'll show you guys what it looks like there. Okay guys, so just took a few minutes to get it back into uh, proper position. But this is uh, my kind of art display in my bedroom. Uh, at least one of them. Um, I have art everywhere, like I said. I love art and uh, hopefully if you've uh, watched this far into my videos or episodes, Hopefully you've learned that, and that's like really the main point of this channel, to share art and to share just some other things that I'm really passionate about. And uh, this is uh, just one of those things. So here is the little creepy monkey. So for size reference, you can see the big guy's feet of the jumbo behind him. And there's a little sneak peek of a future episode right there. But that's as far as I'll uh, try to show you guys if I can help it. So as we go up, look at how sick this is. He's just chilling. We got Goofy from a previous episode, so definitely check out the Creepy G, Creepy Goofy. Awesome, also one of my favorite pieces. We have the little mono Creepy Monkey. We got Popeye over here, love Popeye. And then we got the big guy. So this is what it looks like, you know, all on display. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have art in your guys' houses, uh, I would love to just kind of know um, you know, what everybody's doing. I, I think art adds to people's homes. I think it adds to people's lives. Let me know what you guys are collecting. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of the THC Samuel Show. Today we went over the Jumbo Creepy Monkey by Cote Escriva. I would have it chilling right here on my table, but the piece is huge, as you guys saw. Um, and again, there's only 30 of them in the world. I absolutely love the pieces. I think they're so creative. I think they 
Um, they express like some really fun emotion. Uh, I really love the style, just really everything about them. The box is sick. Kote and Thundermates absolutely killed it. I'm gonna leave links uh, for Kote uh, in the description to this video. So if you guys wanna check out more of his work, uh, I'll add a link to his description. Uh, add a link, excuse me, to his Instagram in the description, blah. So, um, again, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm gonna keep putting out content weekly. Uh, I've been enjoying showing you guys different pieces of art, different uh, just aspects of what I'm doing, different pieces of my work, different pieces of just kinda like my daily life out here in Colorado. So, much love everyone, thank you, until next time, peace. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.